everybody, it's Antonia from Caravation City. Okay, I'm back again with the headband. It is the headband bandage, of course. And um, if you do not know, I love headbands pretty much in all of my summer photos. I wear headbands. I don't really wear them in the summer. I'm pretty much a beanie girl in the summer or snapback or anything of that nature that makes me look cool. So I like to wearing things on my head because I think it's awesome. So yeah, obviously. Um, moving on, this month, of course, it we're going to go ahead and do March's monthly favorites. I'm a little bit sad that I actually, you know, didn't do it on deadline. Right. And I got to go ahead and get started on the April one, but I'm going to get it done. Anyway, so I only have like three things for this month. That's really why I didn't really do it. Now, I know that I went to a lot of events and did a lot of stuff in the month of March, but it's called monthly favorites, not monthly. I got some stuff. I'm going to show it to you, try to sell it to you, but I'm not going to use it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of swag bags this month and a lot of the stuff I haven't got around using because I'm really a very consistent kind of person. I'm very stuck in my ways and if you, your product doesn't live up to my like high standards, it's probably not going to get used. So I'm actually in the process of filtering those out and giving them away. So let me know if you want any of the products that I have to show. I'll probably blog about it on Monday so you can hit me up for those. Anyway, moving on to the three things that I purchased this month that I think are super duper awesome. Um, let's start off with this Nikki K product, this liquid eyeliner. I have never been good at wearing eyeliner ever. Putting it on my eyes and face and all that stuff, it was horrible. Like the little dot in the mole and the mole would just like splatter. And I might got time for that. So this Nikki K eyeliner was actually one of my favorite products that I used because um, the simple fact that I could actually, um, you know, just kind of draw it on. And it was kind of so narrow and so thick and dense of a plastic to where I actually had full control of wherever the, you know, the plastic went. So it wasn't like this flimsy brush that would go up here, 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 you know. It was, it was really, really awesome. I love this. It's probably like a 90, actually I think $1.99 at the hair store. So obviously it became one of my favorites. Um, moving on to the um, Vibute from Julie Mackler's line. I love this. Um, it's the lip spread, of course. And it's the anti-aging high hydrating lip gloss I actually really like this just for the simple fact that she you know not only does she pick it but it actually works with my skin tone so I really enjoy it um I actually am wearing this under the Nika K satin lip color which actually you'll see that in the video after this one but um so yeah I actually really liked it and then also she has this really dope um lip gloss that she calls it um what is it uh move range for your lips which is actually really funny it actually changes colors based on your ph balance so definitely check her line out i put it in the description below you can pick this out at soft surroundings it's the only soft surrounding in kansas city on the plaza and out of the entire state of missouri she brought it here to kansas city so you definitely have to check them out soft surroundings shout out to you for inviting me also you can check out her website and i will put that in the description below moving on to the color stick and which is pretty much a concealer from NYC this was at Target for $1.92 and of course I picked it up because I need a concealer and a stick so I can put it in my eyes and do my videos a lot more quickly <laughs> for you guys because I know like sitting here and just trying to dig it and I'm pretty much running out of the like the um liquid form or the um paste form I guess paste I don't know the pasty form of this so I really thought that you know getting concealer stick was really one of the bigger priorities especially the way I highlight and contour like it's like a daily beast for me when I do wear makeup I pretty much I go all out if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it all the way that's, that's my motto so those are pretty much my monthly favorites some of the things that I'm gonna use in this video of course I live by the gun die by the gun Kat Von D love the foundation the translucent HD powder which why I'm not sweating profusely in this video, of course, from City Color Cosmetics, um, of course, Eyes Lips Face, love, love, love this palette. Just for the simple fact that it's very diverse in colors and very pigmented. I love my eyes. I remember my freshman year of college, I was trying to get it down. Some of my BFFs at the time, which they would clown me for not being able to like blend my makeup. 
and you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about it but it was really a struggle for me so um, this one is cigarette city color city color cosmetics gold palette of course you know I've ranted and raved about this um, of course, all of the products are super cheap, nothing probably, this is $42, but other than that, everything else is pretty affordable. I'm actually going to go ahead and price match this, um, debut, just to make sure that I quote the right prices, but other than these two items, nothing in here is over $20, so, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's how I roll. With all of my products, like my lips, my eyeliners, my mascaras, everything that I really use to put on my face is very cheap and affordable because if you're like me and balling on a budget and you gotta stay fierce, you have to kinda, you gotta, you know, you gotta know how to work these things. As far as mascara, I use Wet n Wild. It works perfectly. I love this because it actually keeps my lashes nice and long with this little, little thing right here. Um, of course, I'm using my BH Cosmetic brushes. <laughs> love. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video of me doing my face. This face right here, you're going to see a little bit of my bra strap showing like you did just there. But other than that, it's pretty much PG-13. Hopefully you all enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Twitter and Instagram to see more of my lovely face and the rest of the staff. Other than that, I'm going to get into this video. Bye! Hi, hi everybody, it's Antonia. Okay, so right here I have moisturized my lips already. Normally I do that before. Um, some of the things that I'm gonna show you, I have some random stuff going on here. I can't really see what I'm doing, so don't blame me. Um, so right there you can see my e.l.f. palette that I'm gonna use to make my create my eyes. Um, this little fuzzy brush is gonna help me make that look. Um, I really don't have a particular technique for how I do this. I normally start with the lid of my eye, create that look first, and then I color the creases, and then I just kind of let the rest go from itself. So as you can see here, I'm patting my lid with the um, kind of the lighter purple of all of the purples that I'm gonna apply to my eyelid here. Okay, so right here you can see me. I'm doing my creases right here. And um, yeah, I'm actually really proud of myself on this because like before, like my freshman year of college, I could not do any of these things. And I always had the hardest time. But I believe I'm moving on to the corners of my eyes. Um, the outer corner is gonna probably gonna be first. Yeah, I'm right. The corner art, just to give it that more kind of dramatic effect. Um, yeah, so, lordy. <laughs> Okay, so what you're seeing is probably kind of like, not the final look for my eyes because I still have to do some um, more things to it. Um, I low-key made the light skin face. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, tear duct right now. That's what I'm doing. You probably can't see me very well. Um, but I'm doing the tear ducts on my eyes and I'm going to look at you again. Hello. Um, 
I really wasn't saying anything there. <laughs> I was singing. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so right now I'm doing the eyeliner. This is the Nika K um black liquid eyeliner that I love so much. Um it helps me create those winged eyes that I love to death. Um so yeah, this is pretty much what I'm doing here now. So there's a lot of time and technique that goes into these winged eyes. Like, like I said, my freshman year of college, I could not do anything with the winged eyes. So it takes a lot of time for me to just to be able to do this. Um, but anywho, um, pretty much the entire um, the the reason why I like to do my eyes first is because of the, I tend to like sprinkle like powder everywhere on my face and this gives me the opportunity to clean it up before I actually put on my foundation and it blends and I get this really great color so in case you were wondering so right here I just am applying some mascara to my eyes just so you can get the full effect it is a very long mascara take I mean like I did like a thousand coats of mascara I promise just to get the length that I wanted I did not realize how much mascara I had put on until I actually filmed this so yeah I actually cut a couple of clips for you just to make this go a little bit faster so keep watching So right here, I'm actually about to clean up my eyebrows for you. So yeah, I always forget to do a little spoolie brush, so yeah. So I always get here and forget to do that part. So I, this is my little spoolie brush, and I'm just gonna make my eyebrows look neat here so they don't look really weird and scattered when I uh, clean them up with the NYC um, concealer here. So yeah, I just clean them up with a spoolie and then we outline my uh, brow shape especially the shape that I want not the shape that I have <laughs> kind of in this case but I just outline it with the NYC and don't worry I'm gonna blend it out I know there has been a couple of some speculation on some of the bloggers doing the contouring of their eyebrows and not cleaning them up but I definitely clean them up <laughs> I do not want to that house. so this is pretty much um, the look and I know if you've seen the before and after of this is actually is very helpful for me Because <laughs> I do have like just some random hair scattered and this kind of draws more attention to the light Which kind of shapes the eyebrow? I don't know. I don't know, but um, I think that's what it does for me and Yeah, that's kind of cool Gives my eyebrow some shape I'm just kind of blending out the um, the concealer just so I, it can get more of a sharper curve right here. Um, 
I think this is actually a little bit more of a better technique than just trying to fill in your eyebrows because my eyebrow in this look isn't 100% full but with the concealing and the um, you know the highlighting of my eyebrow it definitely makes it look a little bit fuller and a little bit neater without all that extra pencil and that's pretty much how I always do my eyebrows. Um, I just used to get compliments on them because I have very full eyebrows naturally and they automatically kind of are arched the way that they are arched, you know? But um, with the highlighting of them, this actually kind of helps give it a little bit more of a cleaner shape and look. So, honestly, if you have nice eyebrows, I guess, if that's like the thing, or you're not very concerned about how they look necessarily, I wouldn't suggest filling them in because I really don't and it still looks good so if you can take a look at them right here they look pretty good they don't really need to be filled in they may look really funny or whatever so, yeah. so I think that's that we're actually probably going to move on to the concealer here to my face so yeah so keep watching hope that's fine mm -hmm. so of course um, this is just the Kat Von D Lock and Tattoo Foundation that I've been um, with my little spongy brown spots. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so I really love uh, Kat Von D because it has a really amazing coverage to my face. Um, it has a little thing on it. It's just, yeah, it dries at the front of it sometimes. Pretty much, I am just kind of like patting this on. It always helps to use a wet um, sponge if you use one, just for the simple fact it will um, leave, it'll make the application a little bit cleaner, and you'll use a lot less um, foundation because it is wet, so it won't actually absorb foundation. It'll actually just apply. It, so. A little goes a long way. Right there, like that's like my problem area is like my cheekbones always get those. I have like specifically five dots on each cheek, and it is very annoying for me. But I think it's pretty well. Um, this is me kind of shaping my lips. I really don't like to clean it up with them. What is it? I don't really like to highlight my lips. This is not really a thing that I see like. Because <laughs> they're already really shaped. So pretty much, I really don't have too much of a technique. I do try to get as much coverage as I can. The bridge is my nose, kind of highlighting contouring tight areas, for sure giving those the most. Because they'll stay the a little bit more. This flat brush right here, I'm just going to take this and blend it out. highlight under my eyes just to make them look a little bit um, lighter so they don't look so sleep deprived <laughs> white eyeliner under my eyes just to make them look a little bit lighter. But after I started doing this under my eyelids, I don't need to do that anymore. So yeah, doing this technique really helps to make your eyes such a big deal. Like you have a lot of sleep. If you see me talking, I'm talking to a friend in the back.
this space, but I'm so excited.